Welcome back to In the Zone. You had to like Northview's chances of winning the WIC title outright tonight. Northview took on a Brown County team they have just owned over the years. The Knights have won nine out of their last ten against the Eagles. To Brazil we go for this one. A lot of people in the area say Northview QB Tucker Stewart is the Johnny Manziel of high school football. Stewart looks like Johnny football on this play. The ball snapped over his head on third down. Johnny football, I mean Tucker Stewart, shakes off seven Brown County. County tacklers and picks up the first down. Are you kidding me, Tucker? What a play. A couple of player, plays later, Ben Gurton gets in from 12 yards out. One of four touchdowns in the game for the Northview Star back. Two plays later, Brown County coughs up the football. Brennan Pillman with a fumble recovery for Northview. Very next play, Stewart hits his favorite target, Liam Jones, who's wide open for a 21-yard score. Northview wins. 63 to nothing. The Knights win the outright WIC title. Sullivan was looking to stretch their winning streak to a season high three straight. Golden Arrows visited West Vigo. Less than 30 to play in the first half. West Vigo QB Tyler Hayes threw for 250 and four scores. Finds Hunter Boyles in the corner of the end zone for the sweet diving grab. Boyles had three touchdown receptions. West Vigo trailed 28 13 at the break. Third quarter, Sullivan driving, but they cough it up. Isaac Boatman lands on it for West Vigo. Vikings couldn't do anything with the turnover. Golden Arrows get the ball. Chase Nichols takes care of business. Nichols says, see ya, definitely wouldn't want to be ya. That long touchdown run gives Sullivan a 35-13 lead in the third. West Vigo would make it interesting late, cutting the deficit to eight, but the Golden Arrows get a couple of big defensive stops. Nickel with a huge sack. Sullivan holds on to win. 35-27, Golden Arrows have won a season high three straight. South Vermillion has dropped three straight. They were at home versus Edgewood looking to snap their losing streak. Look at the bird. It's a plane. No, it's Edgewood. Zach Harrison flying into the end zone for a touchdown right here. Nice leap by Harrison. I give him a seven. Could have had a better landing, but Harrison did find the end zone twice tonight. Edgewood just went to Clinton and punched South Vermillion in the mouth. Alec Scott, another score on the ground for Edgewood. Mustangs roll 49-6. Edgewood finishes in second place in the WIC. Now, I know everyone at home, especially in the Linton area, is wondering where are the Miners highlights at? You know I, I don't forget about you down there in Miners country. We have all the highlights from the Linton North Central game and Rockville and several other games, including Vincent's Lincoln and Washington, when In the Zone returns.